Uh, hello everyone. It's me walking on back with another fake Grand Order video. Um, before we go on, uh, I should mention that this is probably going to be... I'll be taking a break kind of after this. I felt like I should at least release one more video before I kind of go... Just kind of take a break for a little bit. If you don't know, if you don't know anything about me or anything, I recently have, uh lost someone very important to me so i'm not in the greatest of moods to be doing anything so for a little bit it's gonna be no videos originally i wanted it to be two days and then i would get back on it but um i i just need some more time but for today i'm gonna talk about this for go thing so hopefully i'll probably make a post for the people who don't watch any of my for go stuff but yeah this is gonna be kind of the not the final video, because there's going to be another video coming out from... But it's not going to be me in it. It's going to be someone else. So, look forward to that. But for the time being, if you don't see anything from me, I'm okay. I'm just kind of going to be taking a rest and I'll come back when I'm in a better mood. But for now, I want to talk about this, because I've been thinking about this for a while. And I figure this is a good kind of video to uh, leave off with for a bit, because it can kind of leave you a little bit wondering. So, on the NA side of the game, obviously things are a little bit screwy because we're getting a lot of events that were... Yeah, you can see here, this is expected in October, this is November, and then the Thanksgiving special is also in November. Someone said that at Anime Expo, Hyang Kyo will be released in November. Um, so that's something to kind of keep in mind for that specifically. But that's not the reason I wanted to talk about it. The thing I wanted to talk about was actually the Thanksgiving special. Because I wanted to take a, a wild stab in the dark to see if I could guess any of the units that are going to appear on it. And then see how right I was when the banner comes out. I figured that'd be a fun way of kind of doing it. So that's going to be today's video. I'm going to take a wild stab in the dark and see when the time comes how many of those units were actually on the banner. If you want to play along, feel free to leave your predictions. I believe there's usually 8 units in the Thanksgiving banner. Uh, if we look through it right here, one, actually as of the last one, this is the most recent one, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One for a week. Uh, originally it was a little bit different, but you can feel free to leave your guesses here. And we'll see who's right when the time comes, how accurate it was. So, let's go. So, I'm going to do a quick recap of what the Thanksgiving banner is. It is an NA exclusive banner. That features units that are usually extremely popular. This is the first one we ever got and it was super surprising. Um, originally Thanksgiving was thought of to be um, what the New Year's banner usually is. Because on New Year's they bring back a lot of fan favorites. And I want to say for the first year they go, we got the units early on Thanksgiving. But then when it came to New Year's they weren't there. And then from that point on they learned that they weren't going to do that anymore. So yeah. <laughs> I'm good. Let's see what it. But the first year, it was Skahak, it was Kintoki, it was Gilgamesh. Those were the first three. Uh, three extremely fan favorites. Obviously, Gilgamesh is well loved with in most parts of the community. Like 95% of it. I'm in the 5% that don't, but it's okay. <laughs> Not everyone needs to like everything. And then there's Kintoki, obviously loved by all of Japan because it's Kintoki, and why not? And Ska Skahak. Who is Skahawk? So there we go. That was the first year. And then the next year, as we can see here, who was on the banner? It was Iskandar. It was Mama Reiko. It was uh, Shuten. It was Skahawk. It was Gilgamesh. And it was uh, Shiki Saber and Ilya. And I believe this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, this is where the original s the seven started being put in here. The idea of like, it's seven now. So. This is a more interesting class. Two of the units that were in the previous one kind of went over. Two units who were related to the dude who was in the last one got carried over. And then Skandar is there, who's obviously very popular due to the uh, Fake Grand Order Zero. And then we have Ilya and Shiki Saber, who are both uh, collab units, so it makes only the most sense to bring them over. And then we have the next year. This one has Okita, Gilgamesh, um, Artoria Lancer, um... Not Alter, the 5 star one. Iskandar, Da Vinci, the big adult one. Mysterious Heroine X, uh, Hijikata, and uh, Amaka Amakusa. This one makes it a little bit harder. As you can see here, Gilgamesh has kind of survived through 
all the banners currently out. Gilgamesh has been on it usually. Iskandar made it for the next one. Okita ended up showing up here. No Skahawk this year. And then the other... I actually don't know how popular Amakusa is in the grand scheme of things. Uh, maybe it's just because of my bias towards Apoc, but I assume people like him. Obviously Da Vinci is well liked. Uh, based on the fan art, I can only assume Atoria Lancer is extremely well loved. And Hijikata is Hijikata, and he is related to Gudaguda, and he's a Japanese servant, and he's a member of the Shinsen Gumi, so of course they would end up liking him, and Okita is a saber face, so there's no more to say here. And then the next year we have Musashi, Shiki Saber, Ishtar, Gilgamesh again, <laughs> Ivan the Terrible, Mysterious Heroin X, and then Kintoki returns to the banner. Uh, once again, Gilgamesh comes back up, Musashi returns, Shiki actually returns, which is pretty funny, Ishtar returns with, with related to Gilgamesh. Ivan the Terrible is the most interesting one, but I assume he's on here because he had, it's it, on JP actually, it, it took a very long time for them to rerun Ivan, and I think they're still waiting two plus years for Ivan to return. He's getting up there in years. Mysterious Heroin X and uh, Kentucky obviously here. Also, uh, I believe Heroin X returns to the next year, yeah. And then this is what we had last year. Okita returns again, Moriarty, Skahawk, Simi Yi, Reigns, Nero, the caster form, the swimsuit, Jack the Ripper, and Xiang Yu. Hmm, very, very weird set. And this is the first year that does not have Gilgamesh on it. So, after looking at all these, to pick your seven, it kind of kind of has to be obviously there is one in each class that much is clear as you can see here oh except for this one i think this is the year where they actually did one in each class saber yeah yeah this is the year where they did one for each class but they didn't do it any of the previous years no they did it this year funny enough yeah saber archer lancer rider caster assassin berserker ruler and this one was rider berserker lancer <laughs> There's really no rhyme or reason to any of this. Oh wait, no, no, no. Let's see. No Saber, but they do have Archer, Lancer, Berserker, Assassin, Rider. No, Saber, Caster. So one of each class. So they would, in theory, at least do one of- I don't know why this year they decided to go double. They went double Saber, but it's still Archer, double Archer. Yeah, I don't know what the hell they were doing on this year. But it seems like for the most part, there's usually one of each class um, and stuff like that. So based on our most recent banners, I don't think this is a, a year of Skahawk in it. Based off of the most recent banner we got, I'm pretty sure Gilgamesh came back. So we can't expect Gilgamesh to be on here. So Kintoki's also coming back. So there's no chance of Kintoki returning here. So I don't think you're going to see Kintoki in this banner. Hmm, so that removes all of the original three. What are the chances of Okita coming back here? If I were to take a guess. No, Okita literally just came back. As did Hijikata. This is a... Hmm. Okay, well, let's see. Of the dudes we have, who would be Saber? So here's one that I'll just eliminate right off the bat. I don't think we get Arjuna Ultra in this one. It would make sense to bring back Arjuna Ultra. Um, but I feel like they're going to probably save him for Christmas. If I were to take a guess as to when we would get a banner that would potentially see Arjuna Ultra return, it would be for Christmas. Um, he's definitely one of the units that hasn't had a rerun in a very long time. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see. In terms of the Saber, if I look into the actual Saber dudes here and thinking about dudes who have come back... Uh, let me see. I have no chance of Okita. Maybe Bride Nero. Shiki, actually. Shiki hasn't come back, so I'm going to actually give that to Shiki. I'll say Shiki will be the Saber for this year. In terms of Archer, hmm, that's a little bit more difficult. I could see Ishtar returning, honestly. I'll give my Archer up for Ishtar. For Lancer, it's a little bit of a different thing. It feels like the, for Lancer, they don't really have much options besides just her hmm hmm let me look in to see i think actually funny enough because the this was a uh, summer unit i think they could do a summer unit so for hmm for lancer summer who would be the most oh it's tomomo that makes sense summer tomomo i'll give it up for that one um 
Ryder, uh, I think I might actually go back and say Iskandar, just because Iskandar doesn't return very often. So, I'll, and actually, didn't Iskandar come back this year? Hmm. Hmm. I can't remember if he returned this year or not. Either way, I'm going to put it up for Iskandar. I'm going to go with my gut. I'm going to go with my boy Iskandar. Mmm, this one. I was, I'm going to throw a wild hat in here and say... Mm, do I dare say it? I think he actually returned this year. He did. Okay, so I'm not going to say him. I was going to say Merlin, but I don't think Merlin returns if there's already um, a return of him. Now, here's a really good question. What other really, like... I don't think it's Castoria. Obviously, it can't be her. So... Hmm. Someone that Da Vinci would make sense actually looking at this. I don't think they would bring back Scotty for this one. They might bring back Shikabu though. I'm gonna give it for Shikabu. I'm gonna say Shikabu for the for the caster. For Assassin, I'm gonna have to say Mysterious Heroine X, because it seems like they have a real pension for her to return, Mysterious Heroine X. And for Berserker, I'll say even though she literally just came back. No, it wouldn't make any sense. Mmm, Berserker can can't be Kentucky. And it can't be Arjuna Alter from the way it looks here, so. Mmm. Mmm. Probably not Hijikata. Don't think that. I don't think it's Young Yu. Mmm. Throw a wild hat and say it's Musashi Berserker, maybe? I mean, that'd be funny. Maybe cool, no, cool, funny, and I would say cool alter would kind of make sense, because he doesn't get very featured very often, but, yeah, I'll go with cool alter, even though I don't think he really does anything in the modern day for the warrant of return, he just doesn't get featured very often, so I could see maybe a return there. So yeah, that's my guesses for this year. I don't think they're ever really related to anything. Let me just be sure here on our New Year's. Happy New Year's, and then let me look at the JP side of the game for their New Year's. See, the summoning campaign has different units. It's not the same units as us. And you can see here, summoning campaign. I think I'm in the wrong game. Uh, hmm. Yeah, completely different. Even though I literally looked at one where it's like it's not the same. What well, was the year in which we got this one? Well, Hokusai. It's the one with Hokusai in it. Let me look. Oh god, I have to go all the way up here. Okay, there we go. Mmm. The GSSR. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, see, our banners were exactly the same on New Year's for this one. Yeah. Yeah, basically the same. So, yeah. It's completely random who it ends up being. I just had to check on that. So, yeah, those are my guesses for who I think it will end up being. You can leave your guesses down below. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, thank you for patiently waiting for me to come back. I will come back. Don't worry about it. Um, it's just going to take me a bit to kind of sort through how I feel and be ready to kind of go up um yeah that's basically all I got to say you guys stay good while I'm gone I'll see you guys later if something really big happens on Fago that warrants talking I will come back rip to the UK users who had to have their prices increase just by a little bit mm, by a decent amount it, stuff is not going great in the UK as far as I can tell so I don't live there but in terms of money stuff it might be the last thing you needed was for to go to also be expensive is what I'll say. I think it's bullshit, but whatever. Um, shit's bad. And Apple seems to be doing whatever the hell they want. What the hell is I trying to say? Either way, I thank you very much for watching and putting up with me. I'll see you guys later. Until next time, you guys stay safe. Um, and goodbye. See you later. Bye.